Hello, and thanks for coming back and listening. I'm enjoying talking off script. I'm working the bugs out of the system. It's amazing what you can do with technology today. Um, lots of good feedback. Always like feedback from people. Um, and got some stuff going across the uh, feed there. Um, Kroger, uh, major retailer, is giving a $2 an hour raise to uh, its workers. Recognizing the fact that they are putting themselves in danger and compensating them. Hard to, hard to show, hard to put the value on putting yourself in danger and putting a price tag on it, but... Zero sends a definite message to your employees. Zero and no effort sends a message. Um, they're paying them. Many other people are doing this. CEOs are taking uh, pay cuts, uh, which, while it doesn't solve the problem, it does do a show of good faith. It shows that they recognize the problem. They recognize there is an issue, and they want to help in some way. Um, you know, a suggestion for these companies, all these people – that have been laid off. What about if you take your your CEOs, your presidents, and all those administrative people, cut their salaries down to what the workers live off of so they can pay their bills and stuff and split the difference and bring some workers back. Spread the wealth. Half a loaf is better than none. Also see that the uh, Iris Research has developed a a robot, and the term robot is used real loosely, um, UV light that kills bacteria and germs. I'm amazed that I haven't seen more about UV light. They're doing all this chemical stuff, but not UV light. UV light kills everything, you know? They really should look into that. They really should look into that. Um, the We're seeing that there's uh, there's issues with, with safety, uh, where they're enforcing these rules. And what always bothers me is what happens, and it's happening now. They're turning under the guise of safety. They do all this rigmarole, and then it comes down to that the solution to um, get this across is to find people money. So you're getting fined. They were pushing people off the streets yesterday in Philadelphia, rows of squad cars, forcing them off the streets. Uh, middle of the day, if you're on the street, hundred dollar to five hundred dollar fine. That's ridiculous. That's an that's effectively a new tax. It's a street tax. It's ridiculous that they're doing that. The um, they shouldn't be a disaster. Shouldn't be turned into a money making endeavor. It should be turned into a revenue source, and for them to. Force rules like this is no better than the profiteering that people who are hoarding things get accused of. Um, and that should just be kept in mind. The, um, the virus is uh, spreading, but in Pennsylvania, we are doing rather well comparatively. New Jersey and New York right next to us aren't doing well. Um, but it's going to peak. You're going to see an artificial surge because more testing is going on. So there's more data, and then you'll see a drop, and then they'll write songs about it, and they'll give seminars and talks about it. Then the other thing that you'll see is you'll see um, um, yeah, I, see, I saw something where, you know, it's toilet paper hoarding. Well, the mask says it takes 22 rolls of toilet paper. Um for a family of four for one month. Now, that's a pretty active family of four, but still, that's nowhere near what these people are taking out of the store. It's out of control. Let's bring that back under control, people. Stop hoarding the toilet paper. You know, all you toilet paper hoarders, I don't know what you're going to do with it. I've seen people trying to return it to the store, which is bizarre trying to return toilet paper, but uh, uh, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> The um, his birthday of uh, Muddy Waters and uh, 1913 and Twin Towers opened in 1973 on his date in history. 
the um, you know um, and like I said and tell truth whole truth nothing but the truth all the time I'll be back around six I don't give exact times because anybody knows me knows I'm not an exact time type of guy but uh thank you for listening and uh we'll see how this one goes too and uh remember real journalists wear pants don't don't sign up for any of that winnie the pooh bottomless journalism that's what i'm calling it from now on integrity comes from journalists with pants thank you very much and stay safe out there talk to you soon